Emil, it was. It looked like you were having nearly the same rifle you and Ole for the three first shootings, but then it was down to the last one. That's where everything happened. Yeah, it was uh, quite a good race. Felt good in the tracks again. Uh, shooting was very good on the first two, and then uh, a little bit trouble on standing. The wind was yeah, a little bit difficult, so. Yeah, uh, disappointing to yeah miss the two on the last. So, yeah, that's all. Look, you look a little disappointed. I uh, so saw that you. Uh, yeah, I'm not disappointed about second place. Of course, it's it's good, but uh, when you're so close to winning and it uh, yeah, it's a little bit it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. That's very easy. <laughs> Is it harder to be beaten by a teammate, or is it better if it was somebody else who won the race? Oh, it's no problem. I, um, it's the same for me who wins. Um, um, but of course, when I don't win, it's good that uh, someone else will normally win. Uh, did you have any hope to catch Ole when you left after the last penalty loop? I oh, know he had been saving strength for the last loop, so I didn't have a chance. Anyway, Emil, it's been a great week. You're leaving us to Schön with a yellow bib. Uh, what is your best memory from these races? Oh, of course, it's a super, super start from the season, and um, I think the, the individual was my best race. And uh, yeah, very happy with that. And um, yeah, great week. And I hope to can uh, continue in uh, in uh, the whole season. When you are a little disappointed and a little thinking about the race, what is, what is the bad thing? What is the worst that you are having in your head? Uh, I don't is it know. that last shot, or is it? Ah, of course, that's the, that's what you know uh, is the worst. So. Uh, the last rounds. Um, yeah. Well, you know it best yourself, Ole. Uh, a good re revenge from the <laughs> from the sprint. Uh, did you have any kind of tactics? It, it looked quite clear that you didn't want to hold the speed. You let it to Emil. Yeah, that's for sure. Emil was strong on the ski today, and uh, he had more power in the start of the race than me. And uh, for me, it was enough to go behind him and. Uh, I have my tactic and I hold my tactic and that was good enough to win today, I was really happy. Then I shoot 18, I was not so happy with the last, uh, last um, standing, but uh, that was enough to, to win today. Tell us what happened on the last shooting, did you see what he did or did you concentrate only on yourself or what, what was going uh, through your mind? I heard every uh, shot from Emil today on the last shooting, so I know I exactly had two mistakes when I was also finished, so that's maybe not so optimal, but uh, I'm shooting four, and uh, I think it was close, it was uh, not so far from the target, but uh, mistake is mistake. Uh, is this the best of your races this week? Absolutely not. Yesterday was a much better race, and, uh, but uh, today was uh, the third race after a hard week in Östersund, and uh, I was a little bit tired. Uh, in those really slow snow, really with the new snow, so it's really hard to race today. And uh, Emil have a lot of power when they're skiing, so it was uh, it was a really heavy race. And you took it very carefully around the last bend into the stadium. I have uh, enough time there so I can take a break there and look at the nice place from yesterday. <laughs> So, you two have been in a class of your own, more or less, this uh, week. Uh, is it going to continue like this the rest of the season now? Um, we hope so. Uh, but we have also a really good uh, team around us too. So, I think Tyra will be in the next race or the next weekend, maybe also on the podium, because he is in really good shape. And uh, I think also Alexander Roos and Lars Berger are also coming. So, we have a really strong team this year. So. I look forward to for the next weekend. How is your program? You just follow the World Cup all the way, or are you taking any breaks or doing something else? This year is no break. Every competition and see what's how long I can go with high speed and good shooting. Okay, we go to Jakob. Congratulations, third place. Uh, 
Can you tell us a little bit about your race? Uh, thank you. Uh, I am very satisfied with my race. Uh, I had a few mistakes in the form position, uh, but uh, I was today very strong in standing and I managed to get to the first place. What went through your mind at the last shooting? You were four guys shooting for third place there, and you were the only one with zero. Yeah, uh, I took it uh, carefully, and uh, uh, I'm very satisfied that uh, I was only one with uh, zero because uh, the guys are running faster than me at la uh, in the last loop, uh, Taria especially, uh, but uh, I managed to. Uh, at the third place again. This change of nation, uh, tell us about it, hasn't been very easy. Uh, has it affected you in positive or negative ways? Um, it was a very negative experience uh, for me as an athlete uh, because I've experienced uh, a lot of problems with uh, the Croatian Battle Association, but uh, now I am very happy. I have a good team and uh, I hope I can make some more good results. Do you live in Croatia or in Slovenia at the moment? Yeah, I'm living in Croatia, but uh, I could not uh, go on uh, competing in the World Cup without uh, a good team. And Jakob, what is your main goal for the season? This, uh, I didn't dream uh, of a start of the season like this, but uh, if... Uh, I could be maybe in 20 uh, at the end of the World Cup, I would be very satisfied.